Hey, it's Katrina here, and today we're talking about developing the right website design strategy for you and your unique needs. So what is the best website marketing strategy? Well, it all starts with a great design. So this approach is going to be completely different depending on your niche and your goals and obviously your target audience. So let's say, for example, you have an e-commerce site. If you have an e-commerce site, then you have to take your prospect through the buying process on your website to the point where they click and buy something in a shopping cart. So your website and how it functions is all that more important versus something like a service company where the website is very important and needs to look professional. But since the actual purchase decision doesn't need to be made on the website right there, and they may need to call and make an appointment later to get a quote, a, a schedule maybe to come out to their location, it doesn't have to have the same kind of layout or the same kind of weight, if you will, to it. So in that case of the e-commerce business, you need to make sure that the website, for example, has information about the product as soon as they land. You wanna make sure that the shopping cart has the ability for you to click and put something in there right away. You don't wanna see anything that says out of stock or anything that is slow loading, right? So let's segue to the services um, example and a company that's a service company can mean many things. We often work with outdoor and indoor cleaning companies, uh, lawn care companies, tree removal, tree removal companies, pest control, soft washing, pressure washing, things like that. Those types of service businesses, you wanna focus a lot on the before and afters in the design. We like using effects where the before and after can kind of be toggled with a little button so you can kind of go back and forth by you know seeing the before and after it's a really 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 clean look and it kind of acts like an online brochure when you do it that way which is really nice we like to put testimonials there testimonials on websites work regardless of the industry i i believe when you're talking about something like a service-based industry where people might come out to your house to do an estimate the testimonials have a lot more weight I believe because it's a lot more personalized so that's just something to keep in mind um, every website you need an about us page something where they could connect with the owner and the team they can see the kind of people they're going to be speaking with that's important you want to have certain um, indicators on your website in the top and bottom of every page of what locations you service if it's a nationwide kind of thing, you need to indicate that because people typically are looking to do business with other people in their area or they wanna see that distinction that they service um, your, your town or your city. So locations are very important as well. If it involves booking or scheduling any kind of appointment, those buttons need to be clear on every single page as well. You need to have a clear contact page, maybe a pop-up of some form of call to action, like book an appointment, download our ebook. There's lots of different things. And you know, you may have a mix of different strategies that you, that you try depending on the page. You may end up having some click funnels to associate with your website. You never wanna go into something like this, just kind of throwing it together at haphazardly or thinking that it's just, uh, you know, a thing that you have to do. There needs to be a lot of time and care that comes into your website. You wanna think about it like your online brick and mortar. If you have a physical location like an office, you want it to look nice and clean and pristine, right? You want it to have a professional look and appearance. Your digital space needs to be just as professional, if not more, because the majority of consumers are making purchase decisions online, whether it is an online product or a service, whether they meet you in person or not. It's just so important. And by not having it or not having it up to snuff in comparison to your competitors means you are absolutely leaving business on the table, whether you realize it or not, whether your prospects are kind enough to tell you that or not. Okay, so that's a little bit about the website design strategy. Now we can do a deep dive into this topic, a whole series of videos on this topic if you want us to or something else. 
let us know in the comments what you want us to talk about. We can help you if you don't reach out. Don't keep this to yourself. Tell us what's going on. Let us know how we can help you. And we answer comments for free in the comment section. No charge for this information. It's 100% free. We just want to help you out. If you do want us to consult you about your website strategy or anything else, maybe social media, who knows, give us a call at 407-334-9378. That phone number again is 407-334-9378. And when we provide consultations, it is just that we are consulting you, we are coaching you on the best ways to solve your problem and every single conversation creates a unique strategy made just for you. Does not matter if you're in another industry that we service, there's no such thing as a one size fits all strategy. It's a strategy that fits you individually. So after we're done with that conversation, you're welcome to take that strategy and implement it yourself or with someone else if you wanted to. We just wanna give that information. Okay, again, that phone number is 407-334-9378. Also, we have a new YouTube sponsorship program. If you are looking for space in our YouTube channel, our growing YouTube channel of over 500,000 active participants a year, you can also contact us at that number to apply to be a part of our sponsored program. Thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great one.